Brewtubers and welcome to the latest tales of yesterday. Looking at man's brown ale, or a brown ale if you're from up north. Um, 2.8%, very lightweight. One of those beers you see all the time in supermarkets. It's like a Maxson Stout. It's one of the stalwarts which has sort of survived. Um, yes. And the reason why it survived is it actually tastes quite nice. Right. So, interesting thing about brown owls is um, they were actually just the posh name that beer companies gave to their bottled mild. Um, oh, so it has developed into its own style, but um, a lot of the original brown owls are just milds, but um, bottled as brown owls to make them probably more sellable, probably. Um, yeah, a lot of, lot of places did a brew, they're mild, and then on draft it was mild, when they bottled it they just called it a brown ale. Um, it's a fact there for you. Um, the original brown ale since 1902. First brewed in London in 1902, a complex blend of pale and dark roasted malt still lies at the heart of this classic English beer. A delicious, creamy, biscuity beer with a sweet, lightly hopped Moorish flavour, served lightly chilled. Uh, brewed by Marsden's. Hmm. Very interesting. Sort of delaying tactics as I pour. So that is the poured beer. Um, it looks very black on camera, but it's um, more of a sort of mahogany red colour um, in the light. Quite dark red, but um, a bit like that sort of colour. But, yeah. Um... Yeah, so it's quite a reddish beer. Um, big head to it. Very sweet smell. Plums. Strawberries, berries, that sort of smell. Yeah, so it's mainly a very sweet, fruity smell to it, say so plums and um, the red fruits. So, uh, dive in for a drink. Very smooth still. Yes, it's watery, but what do you expect from a 2.8% beer? Um, that sort of berry sweetness follows through to the beer. Um, let's say sweet plums, um, strawberries. Um, but then there's also a creaminess there as well. Mm. Mm. It's very drinkable, I mean. It's like a Coca-Cola or something. Actually, it's very similar to Coca-Cola in an odd sort of way. It's like the beer equivalent, really. Sweet and easy drinking. There's a hint of roasted malt character there, a very small hint in the background. Um, it's surprisingly sweet and fruity, though. Um, no coffee character or any dark malt character, really. So there is a hint of roasted grains in the background, but it's very sweet, very fruity. I think it's quite typical of the post-war sort of beers. Um, very lightweight, for your granny sort of beers, aren't they? I think they're sort of marketed as. Um, you know, I mean, it's tasty. I like it. I'm enjoying it. I've had half a pint in like three sips. It's not going to win any awards, by any means. But, it's not bad beer. It's a sort of sweetish, sweet and watery. It's not selling it very well. It's tasty, but it's not astounding. That's fairly 
<laughs> unflattering review, but you know. I, I like Man's Brown Ale, I do. I buy it every now and then. Usually because they're fairly cheap, there's about a pound, one pound twenty, something like that. For a 500 milliliter bottle. And they're just an easy one if you, you know, got to drive or something, but you want a beer, you can have one of them. And uh, so you not be worried about being dangerous on the road. Or if you just, you know, don't particularly want to be drunk, but just want a refreshing drink. Anyway, enough of that. Bollocks. I shall see you all again soon.